Hey, have you ever noticed how dull and flat black watercolor paint can look? I have a great tip on how to mix your own black so that it really comes alive on the paper. To make this black, you're going to need three colors, a linzer crimson, indigo blue, and a burnt umber or sapia brown. You need to mix these three colors together. Keep in mind it may take a bit of mixing and building the colors together to work it up to the desired depth of darkness you are looking for. But with enough layers, you can achieve a rich, multicolored black that comes alive off the paper. This is typically the more desired black you're going to want in your paintings rather than the dull, flat black you can get from a tube of paint. However, if you really like using that tube of paint, then I suggest you tint that black with either a warm or a cool color. For example, when I paint a loon, one of my favorite birds, I like to tint the black with Payne's Gray to give it a cooler black tone. And if I wanted a warmer black tone, then I would add a touch of probably a lizard crimson or burnt umber to make that a warm black. What's important to remember is ultimately mix a color with your black so that it is vibrant and not dull. And in the end, it will enhance the overall appearance of your watercolor paintings. Hope this helps. Happy painting.